Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infraspace, the game where we start on a barren planet, build huge mining equipment to pillage the natural ores, deliver them in hover trucks via a sensible network of highway alignments and railway layouts where they can be processed into usable materials, helping us to build more truck nados and ultimately making a thriving city on this otherwise barren planet. Now, last time we added a load of new housing areas, we added this circular area, which was actually pretty damn efficient, in my opinion. And if you look in the bottom left, we actually have, we have like way more housing than we have jobs Finally, although we're just waiting for people to move in. But as each one of these G-Wagons contains a person, that means that, that is going to happen very, very quickly. Which means we need to work on some other things. Now, remember last time we worked out there's like an endgame spaceship. Uh, we need to upgrade this as we go. We've, we've done the passenger deck, so that gave us a nice bonus of sending 400 people to our colony, which was very nice. But I think next up we should work on the most important part of any ship, and that is the bridge. So for this we need hollow displays and computers and that'll take 20 seconds to create a spaceship module which we need a hundred of in order to get the upgrade of a permanent five percent immigration boost so we'll click repair on that and then we'll head back down to our planet and over this way yes at the tip of our very efficiently laid out spaceport we have the construction facility in which we need the hollow displays and the computers to be delivered to so let's go see where they are made so hollow displays are in this equally efficiently <laughs> I've hide all these everywhere without realizing. Yep, so hollow displays are made here. And you can see these are pretty efficient. They're working at 116% efficiency. And if we hover over the spaceship construction facility, you can see there are currently 30 being delivered. So I think they're sorted. We only need 100 in total, so that's fine. The next one is the computer. Now there's none of those being delivered. Let's go see where they are. So all the way over here, there are a few down here. These are the computer factories. So pretty much every computer they're making is being used. We might want to extend this, make it a bit bigger. I do. I think we have some more somewhere on this planet. Aha, yes, over here in San Francisco, all of these purple machines, they are creating computers. Uh, but again, these seem to be working literally at capacity. Like none of them have any computers in the storage, which means they're all being used. Yeah, they're all being sent along this road and then they're all going under the helix of the railway or being delivered to all of our buildings so i think we're gonna have to build some extra ones if i'm honest i'll probably do that over here i think basically up here i just need i need more of everything so we'll delete the roads back to there we'll build a load of microchip factories because that's what we need to make the computers we'll then extend all of these roads to go further down and we'll build loads of those build a load of computer chip factories which on this side get a very <laughs> hefty the efficiency bonus. We've connected all those up. We've just been told there's not enough power in our network. Now that's because we only have these three solar panels. So what we're going to do, we're going to just add another solar panel. Easy peasy. All right, so now you can see these are waiting for resources. So we've got some sand coming from these sand mines over here. Just careful if you're driving along these roads, there's a bit of debris spray happening. So we've just on an extra arm there so that the the sand can get over there as well. I've inadvertently created another truck nado, I think. So let's see what happens. Oh, I turned off. Oh, guys, guys. Why doesn't anyone want to use a truck nado? I'll tell you what, clicking all of these, they're all out of sand as well. So I think we're going to need a few more of those. So large sand mines along this edge. Right then, is anyone going to use this? They're not using it. Although, I have, ah, I've just realized, look, there's a truck nado there. Yes. <laughs> Although that green van is sort of ruining it now. Get out of the way, green van. There you go. It is the world's smallest truck nado. Oh, they've all gone. All the traffic's gone. Fine. All right, anyway, so how are we getting on? We're doing pretty good. We need we need a few more electronics, which are these little green things. Now, the electronics are all over here. How are these doing? Oh, look, there's so many. These are all filled with 40. Their outgoing storage is full. So I think what it might be worth doing, if I just grab another road, we can do a junction off here. All right, there we go. We've got... <laughs> We've created an utter truck nado mess down here, but it's also kind of beautiful as well. But you can see all the green trucks with the electronics, they can now go to both strips of the microchip factories. Now, ideally though, we want to get them down this road as well. So if we just 
do a little junction off the top of this bridge onto that bridge, completely ignoring real life principles on highways there, then I think we should be good. All right, so that's good. That is producing a fair amount of traffic though. I'm sort of wondering, would it be worth trying to get the trains involved again? Because in our research, we're, I think our next thing we're researching is lightning rails. Yeah, it is. We just need the we need the red research. So question, how do we get red science? We need three mixers, eight explosives and two yellow sciences. So what is a mixer? It's an AI control unit and it just takes four aluminiums, which is the silver snail symbol and two blue cubes. And over this way, this is where we're making our blue cubes. You can sort of see the symbol on the building here. So there's actually quite a lot of them stacked up. Yeah, quite a lot of these have 30 in their storage, which means they're not being used all the time. So the question is, where, where where do they output? Where's the end road? I think it's, it's up this road. Okay, so maybe in this space here, we can build some of these. Oh my goodness, they are huge. What the hell? What's, it, what's happening to the building? It's sort of like a Rubik's Cube building. What? I bet you anything an architect is to blame for that. Anyway, let's build six. We've just lost power in network three three so that's this one so yep let's we just gotta get up to 169 megawatts nice. so simple thing to do just build a few more solar panels but nice that's those done they just need some aluminium which i think is probably being delivered yep that's all being delivered sorted so after that we need explosions which are from radiation core factories now i think we've got some of these if we head way over this direction past the architect suck sign over our lovely railway bridge yes we have some radiation cores being built and they've they've already got some in storage so that's good so basically we just need to get both of those over to our research area which is currently down here so i think what i might do i might just do a cheeky little road from here down to here and then i'm gonna turn off the curved roads and we're gonna build a few red science pack factories oh man these are pretty beasty as well so we've got four of those in you can see all the yellow science is arriving and then hopefully the other things will arrive once we connect all the roads up so over here if we take these guys they're the ai control units we take them onto this road and then follow this road that way i think these border train yes they do so they'll go this way fly along this helix through the tornado of doom <laughs> Oh dear. And then that comes out this side over to, yeah, this train station where they can leave via hover truck and they should be able to get to here. Although, oh no, this one has no power. So you can see down there, it's just slightly out of range. So all I gotta do, I've just gotta extend a power pole like that, sorted. Right, and then the red sign, so you can see there's, there's all sorts of trucks coming in. We've got AI control units currently being delivered, six of those. We've got radiation cores, we've got the yellow science. Sweet! And then basically these will produce red science packs which will come along here and I'll go down this road into this building down here which is the research lab. So I think that's sorted. I, I will say I, I don't like these buildings. I don't get why they do that. Like imagine being on that floor. You're <laughs> There's a good like 12 stories of offices all moving at once. It makes no sense. While it does look cool, I will give you that architects. It makes no engineerical sense. Yes, engineerical is a word. All right, however, these guys, they are struggling to get the aluminium. So it might be worth trying to do a more direct route for our aluminium. So up here, all the aluminium ore is maxed out. There's none in storage. Same with these ones. And these ones, they are storing a few actually. Yeah, so there is a train station here. So so this at the moment purely goes over that way. Yeah, so it only feeds this area. I wonder, would it be worth having another line or maybe another station just to take it over that way where it's needed? Because in our railway tab, we do actually have the high speed rail to use. We haven't used it at all yet. And it sort of seems fitting that we could use that to unlock the next research of the lightning rail. So I think we'll build a mini train station. Maybe if we build that like there and we can do an arm into that and then we're good to build our high speed rail so it looks like we've got to come off this direction which is a bit annoying so i'm guessing we're going we're going around here so we've got to cross over this road so we'll go up and oh wow oh oh what wow. oh oh uh mr dev did you did you forget to put a steepness <laughs> Did you forget to put a steepness limiter on these? Anyway, before I rinse all my steel, I am actually just going to get this to link up first. Um, oh god, I don't, I don't know where I'm going actually. There's, it's a dead end. We're going to have to try and do a jump off the edge. Oh wow, look at, look at this. I can't actually do a railway. Oh no. Oh no, that isn't what I wanted. Why did you drop down there, railway? Hang on. Right, there we go. 
let's carry on our railway. So we basically want to end up over here. Oh man, it's so much steel. So yeah, we basically want to end up over here, but we are a bit high up. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go down. Oh wow, that looks very broken. That looks very broken. I'm clicking, mate. <laughs> What have I just built? What have I just built? Okay. Oh, this railway literally defies physics. All right. So if we do something like that, that should go in. But I think these railways, they're one way. In order to get a train on it, we are going to have to go back the other direction. I feel like since the deliveries will have been made, this is where I can have a bit more fun. So we'll thread the needle through these. And then let's see how these work. So vertically, we can go... Blooming height and blooming vertical, apparently. Then we'll head back down, do a little loop back to there. Go straight back up again. Repeat a few more times. Right, there we go. Lovely, lovely jump. <laughs> I've literally, I've just run out of steel. I've got 169 steel left. Oh yeah, but good news, we've built the bridge. So let's head back to our spaceship. Yes, look, the bridge is now green. So what should we build next? Well, since we built a load of those earlier, I'm going to do the computer deck because I think we have everything we need. And that will give us a 20% boost to a random technology. Let's repair that and then we'll get back to our railway. <laughs> Oh, how am I going to finish this? Well, first up, it's important to look at the bottom. You can see we've actually got more population than we do jobs now. So I'm going to go into my production overview, which is this, where you're able to slide how many workers work at each sort of resource unit. And basically, I'm just going to slide them all up. So you can see all the vacancies of the jobs have now gone. But some of these numbers are red, some are orange. That means there's not enough buildings, basically. So for example, this one, the uranium ore, that is red. We've got to be making 30. We're only making six. So over here, this is where we're making the uranium ore. There's only two mines. So we're going to need some more. I can't really fit any more over there, but it looks like there's some uranium over here. So I was wondering why I couldn't see what I was building. I was like, oh, 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 I zoomed out. I was like, we're up there. We're up there. So we've got we to gotta come down first. And then we're basically just going to build a road along this edge. Do a little bridge over there. This really seems really small now <laughs> after that railway I just built. Right, anyway, we'll head over this direction. And we're literally just going to connect in there. Because uh, that means I can actually, I can fit in a, a new miner in there, which is quite handy. Doesn't look the most sensible location, but it is worth and then we could just surround all of these. And if I build a few wind turbines, connect them up with power poles, then we're creating lots of uranium, meaning they'll get delivered in the trucks, which you would have thought would have a bumpy ride through this road, but they are hover trucks. So, so little stones on the road, they, they don't bother the hover trucks. That's why we got rid of wheels in the future. And then they just head into the radiation core buildings. And if we click on our production overview, you will see uranium. We're making 33 and we only need 30. Nice. So then we've just got to do the same for some other resources like the neural processors, the iridium, the hollow displays. And then we'll have a very efficient colony. Although, although, why, uh, uh, why are there people without... There's no oxygen being delivered. No. Oh, no. The traffic. The traffic problems are back. Why is it gridlocked? What's going on up here? Oh, man. So much carbon. So much carbon. Oh, my goodness. The carbon is unreal. Oh, look at them. Yeah, this is this is why I need to move on to trains. They're also so short of power in our main network, which is this one. Oh, I think it's because this. To our nuclear power plant, it's not getting any uranium. All right, let's build a few more of these. Oh, this is not good. There's no oxygen because there's no... Ah, look at all these warning lights. Oh, why does this happen to me every single video? Is it because I build stupid stuff like this? I don't know. Anyway, let's build a few more solar plants and see if this helps. I mean, we're completely out of steel. Come on, steel. 99. I just need one more. There it is another solar plant. How much power do we have in this network now? Oh, nowhere near. There's still no uranium being delivered to this beast. Oh dear. The trouble is, as these habitats downgrade, that means we lose all of our jobs. And then we have to go through the palaver of attracting more people. Although there are still new people arriving in there. G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G. <laughs> oh, you thought I was going to go with that one in this video, didn't you? But yeah, unfortunately, all those G-Wagons, they're literally, they're stuck in traffic. There's no movement anywhere. Is it because these have no power, so they can't use up the resources? So it's all just stuck on the roads? I think that's it. I think it was a vicious, vicious cycle. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete that strip of road. 
Because then these guys, all the uranium from here, they have to turn off onto this main road. And look, when they join this main road, oh god, he just cut those guys. Oh, they're going so quick. That's horrible. I tell you what, I might do a bit of lane management there. I might say you've got to go into that lane. Get rid of that. Just so these people don't get nailed from the side. But they follow this through the very efficient highway interchange along this edge. And yes, yes, we've got power now. We have power. Look how happy this guy is about that as well. So hopefully, does that mean traffic? is moving not really oh absolute nightmare absolute nightmare my city was perfect now look at it <laughs> oh dear Matt. so by the time i actually get around to finishing this railway there probably won't be anyone producing the resources to deliver anyway so i guess that was a waste of time i I've got to see how this works though. So we're just going to fast forward the game. Just let it do its thing. It's, it's going to downgrade everyone. We're, we're cocked in a word. But if I leave it long enough, it should recover. Oh man, I don't know if it's going to recover. Look how red that is. I think what I did wrong... I think the production overview, I shouldn't have gone mental. I probably should. Oh, I, yeah, I should have just slowly tweaked things up. Because if you just do, if you just full blast everything, it just clogs your traffic. Oh, balls. Right. Oh, well, I'm going to try and sort this and then I'll see you guys in a bit if I can fix it. Oh, no. Look at my circular city. It's dying. It's so upsetting. Right. Well, I've balanced this out. So we're sort of making the jobs we need to produce what we need. But we've only got 4,100 population. We've got 6,000 jobs. So everything's just cocked, basically. Not very happy about it because all my massive skyscrapers are now these tiny little piddly things. They're pathetic. They're what architects would live in. Yeah, traffic is still absolutely standstill still which means everything's downgrading to these little basic pods again oh this is a disaster <laughs> i'm so annoyed at myself i was doing so well right so i've done a bit of fiddling and the good news is the traffic is pretty much sorted we're just slowly tweaking these things as we get a higher population and this time we'll be a bit more careful why <laughs> What I quite like about this as well, like if I click on this habitat down here, which is absolutely tiny, there's four people living in there out of 10. And then if we zoom out to see this massive skyscraper next to it, it's empty, literally empty. I, I feel like this is like London simulator. Anyway, as you can see, we've got we got loads and loads of skyscrapers. We're just waiting for the G wagons to arrive. They will take their time because they're suddenly going around the truck nado. And speaking of making sense over here, we finally have trains on our train line. It's fully connected now. Now that is that's a hell of a view that train line fair play i am very intrigued to see what's going to happen <laughs> when it gets down here so you can see it's coming it's arriving what is good whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wow, wow. Oh yeah, and this stopped in the in the station, so the end of the train was still up the is that technically a train NATO? I think if we watch as another train comes, train NATO <laughs> Oh, I love this game. Also, it means over here, if we head to our new section of railway... Oh, yes, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> the trains literally have no problem going up a vertical wall. That is... That's hilarious. What is this view? You'd think you're, like, looking along a train line, but nope, you're actually looking straight down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it turns out hover trains, they, they literally defy physics entirely, not just gravity. Now, you also noticed as well, I was a little bit sensible. I actually stopped building this at this location. So I didn't want my solar panels not to work. I was worried about the shade. The sun doesn't seem to move on this planet. So again, another product of engineering and not architecture. It was sensible. Right, surely. Pretty much. Maybe. A little, a little, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll go do something else now. All right, so over at these red science factories we're actually still making science that bar is definitely moving which means oh yeah look we're not that far off lightning rails unlock we're halfway there nice and then i'll be able to make these guys move really fast i love how this thing sort of looks like a radiator as well uh, but anyway guys i think we're gonna leave that there for today we've been very very efficient today i mean we're almost back at where we started look at all those skyscrapers just got to get rid of a few warning signs and we'll be laughing right Peace, love, and train nados. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.